Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica from Yixr Us and welcome to a grocery haul. Today we are going through a haul from TNT that includes almost everything that is either clearance or on sale. So let's get this started. If you've noticed, the lighting is hugely different. We just got all of our lights redone. Let me show you real quick. So we got all our lights redone. We had to finish up the wall of the ceiling and everything still, but we got our junction box installed. So we're waiting for our pendant lights to arrive, but we have all these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pot lights in. And once this is all finished, it's going to look fabulous. I'm telling you, it's going to look fabulous, but let's get into the hall. Here we are. Plus, there are three bags of dumplings. So the dumplings I had to stick in the freezer because they were starting to go soft. But um, those were on sale for $9.99. And yes, I'm able to make my own dumplings. And often my mom makes those dumplings. But we're completely out. And it's busy season for work as I'm at the end of Q2 for Avon. And so I don't always have a lot of time to cook. As you can tell, I don't even have a lot of time to do dishes. But we're going to do a haul video because I love grocery hauls. I have a slight obsession with grocery hauls. I could... I love watching grocery hauls. If you're with me on that, give me a thumbs up on this video if you love watching grocery hauls as well. Overall, this was a fairly budget-friendly haul for a lot of budget-friendly meals. Um, everything on this side here was on sale. These were free, and this was all cleared. So let's start this way. This is Vita, I think it's Vita Soy is the brand, but it is a delicious. It's Hong Kong style honey lemon tea. Usually we get them in the little Tetra boxes, but Nelson found these on sale for, they work out to be about a dollar per bottle. So he has, we have got some of these because these are delicious. Stick them in the fridge, just super duper refreshing with a nice strong tea taste. We got our, Nelson's favorite apples. These are Fuji apples. They were on sale for 99 cents a pound. So we've got a bunch of those. And these are also Ginevra's favorite apples. Have you ever had these with just peeled and some French vanilla ice cream? It is one of Nelson's absolute favorite, favorite, favorite desserts. It is delicious. These are just super sweet and very crisp, so they have a really nice texture. We also got three bags of sohoi bak choy. And so these are just a staple. You can just chop them up, put them in a stir fry, or you can blanch them, or you can, you know, lay a protein on top of them. There's a lot of different things you can do with them. I think I've even read that you can grill these and they taste really good. I've actually never tried grilling them on the barbecue, but maybe that'll be something we should try. So we got three bags of those, and these were about $1.29 a pound, so it's an okay deal. These, <laughs> you see, can tell, these are one of our staple products. They're the sweet potato vermicelli, um, and these are the wide ones. They are the thinner ones, but these are really nice because they have a really nice texture even after cooking them. They do absorb a lot of water, so if you, when you cook them and if you want something, like if you want them braised, you need to add an extra liquids because these will soak up your liquids like crazy. You're going to hear a lot of background noise because Nathaniel's still awake. But these are really good, and they work out to be a dollar fifty a bag. Talked about these last time, Ori Mandarins. These are Nelson's absolute favorite. Yes, we finished all five bags from last time. We got some more because they were on sale again for two ninety nine, and so Nelson did end up buying three bags of those. I'm telling you guys, if you haven't tried it, try this one. It is delicious. It's like ugh, can't go back to the other kind. Hi, Molly. Oh, you want to say hi? Come, come over here. Say hi. Hi. Look what Daddy bought. Yay, your favorite! All right, Mommy will be up in two minutes, okay? Oh, okay? These here we got for free. There was a product promotion. Nelson doesn't quite remember what he got. Uh, that it was free. Maybe this? Oh, wait, or maybe, maybe it was that. But they're antibacterial wet wipes. These are just always handy nowadays. Okay, moving on. Now we're getting into the clearance stuff. This was an insane amazing clearance haul like check it out it's he got what one two three four five six seven eight nine nine bags of clearance produce this is going to last us for quite some time and some of this can be also stuck in the freezer so he did get three bags of green beans that's a lot of green beans but that's okay these one of my favorite way to cook this is to have it stir fried with minced pork and olive leaf paste. Oh my gosh, it is super, super savory and delicious. You can either cook it just like that, and if, you, if you're if you using it, popping it on top of rice, a really good way is to add some chili oil to it to give it a little bit of spicy kick, and it's delicious. Or you can 
chop these up super small into like little diced pieces and then use it in your fried rice and that is also delicious speaking of which i'll probably make that for one of these bags because i haven't had that in a really long time um but he got three bags of them and each bag is a dollar which is an incredible steal because each bag is probably about two and a half pounds or so so that's a really great price next thing here is that he got two bags of tomatoes these i believe are roma i want to say the roma tomatoes they are a bit soft so i do need to process them rather quickly but they're a dollar each i don't see any mold or anything on it but like i said there are a few that are really soft and there's a few that are really really good the last tomatoes that we bought that were like this um where we got them for clearance we ended up uh washing them letting them dry and then we stuck them in the freezer and when they're ready to cook i just popped them and um the skin peeled off really easily and i made something called cat ear noodles it's it's a type of soup it's really delicious and literally it's just cat ear shaped noodles and it, it's kind of very similar to orange orangeli i think it's called or orchetti orchetti the the uh, italian pasta but it is delicious i'm going to share that recipe with you guys someday and ginevra loves it too so we'll probably make some with that and then maybe i'll also just crush some of these up and make a simple tomato sauce that i can freeze then he got a bag of mixed things for $1.99 so this was an okay deal there's some peppers here a red pepper some green peppers and then i think these are a type of zucchini but they're really tiny which is what's throwing me off so there's like five of them in here they're actually like decent like there's they're not soft or anything so i'm excited to try these out and what i really like about this way of shopping is that it's really much a surprise like i never know what i'm really gonna get so i can't fully meal plan because but you get creative when you see what you have then um he also got some carrots these are the big huge honking carrots this was a dollar fifty for this bag and this one there's a white daikon radish that's for some reason is cut in half and then also another carrot both of these were a dollar fifty each so it's okay not too bad not too bad um this is probably like again two and a half to three pounds worth of carrots here maybe even five pounds it's pretty heavy but for a dollar fifty good deal finally we have this i don't know what this is can you tell me what this is? Nelson thought it was a chayote, which is like a type of squash that we really like. It doesn't feel like a chayote. Maybe it's a guava. Honey, it could be a guava. I wonder. Is this guava, guys? Let me know in the comment section. I don't know. So anyways, I'll open one of these up and figure out what it is. If it's chayote, fantastic. Love chayote. If it's guava, fantastic. Love guava. And if it's a mystery thing, great. It'll be fun. So yeah. That's it for this haul, guys. It's a relatively small haul. I do need to go out again tomorrow to get some more of our staples, such as like milk, bread, eggs, and stuff. So this is just part of our monthly haul. Lately, we've been shopping pretty much once a month, and then every one and a half to two weeks, we'll go out to buy like a couple bags of milk um, and some eggs and bread. But if we don't have time to do that, we always have milk on hand, um, and I'll just make my own bread. But yeah, we've, we haven't been going out as much... And that's why there's been less haul videos. That's it for this haul, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Look, at it's still sight bright and sunny out, and it's almost 9 p.m. And so summer is coming. I'm so excited. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I have new videos every single week. And if you want to see some of my beauty videos and hauls, make sure you jump over to my Dancing Avon Lady channel, which I just had a huge really exciting announcement so you're gonna want to check that out i love you guys see you guys in the next one bye